Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised journal test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it in order for you to be able to follow my work. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 160 and today is our lesson number 67. Let's take a look at it. It says the range of heights, you have to have the book in front of you. It says the range of the heights of female students in a, in a certain class is 13.2. Alright. The range for female is 13.2 the range of height of male student is 15.4 All right. range for male is 15.4 don't worry about the fact that I did not put down the unit it doesn't matter whether the, the range is 13 inches or 13 meter or 13 yard I could care less it, it's not going to do anything so let's show it here Let's do it here. Here's our, here's our female. Here's our female. Let's put it here. So if I call the shortest one F, I'm going to call the shortest female F, and since the range is 13.2, which means the tallest one is whatever the height of the shortest one is, plus the 13 plus the 13. Let's raise this part. And we're not going to be anal. We're not going to be annoyed by these people. Forget about this freaking .2 and .4. It, it plays no role. Just forget about it, okay? Don't worry about it. And the males, M stands for the height height of the shortest male. Similarly, F stands for height of the shortest female. I already explained it, but I figured I'd write it down just in case. So if M is the shortest male and the range is 15 inches, then the tallest guy must be M plus 15. So far, so good. We're just setting it up, okay? We have, I have not even bothered to reach the punchline yet. I do not know what the punchline is. Punchline is what they're asking for. Which of the following statement individually, which is very important, and they were nice enough actually to underline the word individual. You cannot use information from two statements or three statements together to ascertain what it is that you that, that is being asked. You must use this information from one statement by itself. I know I'm being silly, for a native speaker it's actually probably a very simple word, but I am, I don't want to shock you, not a native speaker, and therefore sometimes even simple words for me in English language become, oh my god, a vocabulary word. Ascertain was the word that I just used. I'm looking in my list here to see if I ever covered it in my vocabulary video, videos, and I have not. And I hope and pray to God that that is how you spell it, I do not know. Ascertain, which means to establish, to, 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 to make sure of something. So we cannot use information from, from one or two, uh, two or three statements together to ascertain uh, what it is that, that, that we need to know. We must use the information from each statement individually. I'm looking, I'm, I'm typing in it here, to make, I'm typing it in here to make sure that I spelled it correctly, even though it's a, such a simple word. You would think that I would know the spelling, but I'm very timid. Timorous was the word that I wanted to use. T I M O R O U S. Timorous. Which means to be timid. Oh Jesus, I misspelled it, didn't I? A S C E R T A I N. You see, it's a good thing I checked. If you have watched my videos in the past, you know that I'm a lousy speller. And I also told you about the time when I took part in the contest. They have this contest for spelling bees, and I usually make a point of taking part in the misspelling bees. And I do quite well actually. Anyway, 
the question is what is the range what is the range of O which of the following statement individually provides sufficient additional information to determine the range of the heights of all students in the class all right so we're looking for the range of heights for all that's all that's a very simple straightforward question it's a very simple straightforward question whether or not the answer is going to be straightforward or simple to find is a different story but the question itself is very straightforward this is what they're looking for what is the range for all the people male and female combined let's see what they give us in the first statement the first statement says that the tallest male in the class is 5.8 inches taller than the tallest female in the class. Well, this is interesting. All right, very good. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pretend that the tallest female in the class, I'm going to pretend that the tallest female in the class is 100 meters or 100 inches. It doesn't really matter. I don't care. So if the tallest female in the class is 100, the first statement tells us that the tallest male in the class is 5.8 inches taller than the tallest female. So if the tallest female is 100, the tallest male must be 100 plus 5.8. What was it? 5.8. So far so good? So far so good? Now watch what happens. If the tallest female, listen carefully, if the tallest female is 100 inches, then the shortest female must be, since she's 13 inches shorter than the tallest one must be 87. Voila, we have our range. We have our range. Our range goes, and again, because we have the flair for the dramatics, we will do it here. Our range goes all the way from the shortest female, which is 87 inches, or 87 meters, or 87 yards, take what you like, I don't care, all the way up to 106. Let's, let's change this to 106. 5.8 is annoying. 106. So there's your range. From 87 to 106 is your range. That's it. The question here is not what is the exact range, which is why I'm taking liberties with the numbers here, because they're not asking you what the range is. The question simply is, can you establish the range? The answer is, of course we can. Even if you had the exact numbers, it wouldn't have changed anything. I don't know what the exact number was here. The exact number here, what was the hell, what the hell was it? The exact number here would have been something different because the female was 13.2 so I would have to subtract if I pretend that the tallest one is 100 if I pretend that, if we pretend that the tallest female is 100 then the, the shortest one would have been 100 minus 13.2 not 13 it doesn't really change anything the question is can you establish the range the answer is yes the range is 80, all the way from 87 to 106 or 105.8 if you like if it bothers you I'll put it back just to please you 105.8 all the way from there to there that's the range so the first statement is enough statement number one statement number a is enough let's see what the second statement says second statement says that the median of the male student in the class is 1.1 inches greater than the median of the median height of the female student in the class all right we need the room so I need to raise stuff need to raise the stuff and we don't need this thing you know what, what the symbols mean oh timorous I never did explain what that means what does it mean to be timorous I said I'm timorous when it comes to my spellings I'm never sure I'm very diffident oh here's a good word diffident I'm looking for see I remember oh day 40 in case you want to learn that word type in vocabulary D40 and you will learn this word timorous and my guess is that the word diffident was probably covered on the same day because they are sort of related. Diffident is a strange kind of word I find it very peculiar because when you ask people a lot of the time people do not know what it means even though it's a very simple very straightforward word of course you know what word confident means nobody's going to ask you what confident means because it's a simple word it's not a vocabulary word well if you know confident you must know dif you, you should know diffident because confident means C O N con, C O N con in the beginning is a prefix which means with, with self assurance. Diffident has a, has a prefix of D I F, as in not. Diffident. Diffident. Not or without. D I F. 
in the beginning, the prefix means without, without self-assurance. Well, if you are without self-assurance, you are not sure of yourself. You are shy, you are timid, you are timorous. When did I cover it? What was the other day? 40 so Oh, there you go. I told you. So it must be the same day because, as I said, they are related. Diffidence. Learn both the words. Learn the, uh, watch the vocabulary video. And not only these two words, but you're going to learn, uh, hopefully, some other interesting words. What do we do with the second statement? I need the room so we can erase all of this thing here. So this was, this, this was information from the first statement. We can't use it. So I need to erase it. We cannot use any of the information from the first statement. We, we have to pretend that we never saw it. Second statement says, the male median, the male median is 1.1 inches more than the female median. Well, the male we know, male we know has a range of M to M plus 15 or 15.4 if you like and the female the shortest female is 13.2 inches shorter than the, than, the, than the tallest female now median what's the median median is the middle number when the numbers have been arranged in order listen carefully median is the number that we find in the middle after the numbers have been arranged in order. For example, what is the median of 3, 4, 7, 9, 2 and that's it. Well, the median of these five numbers would be, we arrange them in order, so 2, 3, 4, 7 and 9, this is the median, the middle number. Telling me what the middle number is here, right in the smack here, and telling me that this number is 1.1 more than that number, tells us absolutely nothing at all about the spread of the observations. It tells us absolutely nothing at all about the shortest person in the entire group, which in this case we found out from the first part that is the shortest person in the entire group actually is the shortest female, which fits the stereotype. Well, not stereotype, it's not a stereotype, it's the fact. Typically females are shorter. And the, and the, tall, and the tallest person in the group happens to be the tallest male. But in order for us to figure out the range, we need to know something about them. The, this statement tells us nothing at all about the shortest female. It tells absolutely nothing at all which can help us find out the tallest male. And without that information, we cannot establish the range. Simply knowing the middle person here and here, and simply knowing that this guy happens to be about one inch taller than this female, is not going to help us. Second statement is worthless. Medians do not say medians do not tell us anything at all about the spread. Neither does the average. Which is the third statement. It says the average height of the male student in the class is 4.6 greater than the average height of the female student. Again, it's not going to help us. Knowing the average of a group, I'm going to say it one more time, knowing the average of the group does tells us nothing at all about the range. If I tell you that Yesterday I gave the test in my class, I have 30 students in the class and the average score was 87. What was the range of the score? To which you would say, how the hell do I know? Simply knowing the average, average does not tell you anything about the spread. As I said already a few times, average is worthless. The third statement talks about the average, which is not going to help us. There is nothing I can do here, there is nothing for us to do. You simply have to understand the concept that stating the average of the group tells us nothing at all about the lowest grade in the class and the highest grade in the class. And that's, that's what you need to find out to figure out the range. That's what range means. Range is the difference between the highest and the lowest. Average doesn't tell us anything at all about it. The only statement that works is statement A. Alright? I will see you tomorrow on day number 68 where we'll, do, where we'll start doing the chart graph the, that you see on the next page, page, page 161. And those are quite straightforward, very simple. I'll see you tomorrow, okay?